Hey guys, Connor here. I'm at Interbike 2017 taking a look at the Turn GSD. Stands for Get Stuff Done and you can certainly do a lot of stuff on this bike. So you have the Bosch Performance Line uh, motor, so that's going to give you about 60 newton meters of torque. Uh, it's a 250, 350 watt uh, nominal rating. Uh, you could probably peak this uh, somewhere in the 550 range. It's going to assist you up to uh, 20 miles an hour. And the cool thing about this bike is that right out of the box, it's going to come stock with you know, all the tools you need to set it up with double battery. So there's no extra wiring that you actually need to do to it. It will come with one 400 watt hour pack. You can also order it with a additional 500 watt hour pack. Um, but all the wiring, the harness, everything is already there. So if you decide one day that you're, you're gonna need more range, you can just pop another battery on there. Simple plug and play. Now the really unique thing about this frame design here is mainly that uh, you know the bike's actual footprint in length is no bigger than a traditional bike. So the actual length front to back is gonna be exactly the same. And now you would think that you'd have to worry about having a really tight kind of cockpit area, having a really close saddle to handlebar distance. But with this bike, you don't really have that problem. And the main reason that you don't is because of Turn's Andros 2 uh, stem system that they have here. So you have all this adjustability here where you can still get a nice upright riding position. But if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, you can push those a little bit forward. You still have a nice saddle to handlebar kind of distance here to, uh, you know, to really fine tune your ride. And they also included a uh, folding stem here if you need to save a little bit more space. They got the same stem that they've put on all their folding bikes just to help you out a little bit when you're storing this thing. So let's take it on back up to the booth and uh, we'll have the turn guys kind of show off all the features that, uh, that this thing has. Hey guys, I'm here with Josh, the uh, team captain of Turn, and uh, he's going to go through a couple of the features and, and benefits that are on the, uh, the Turn GSD. Well, the cool thing about the GSD is that we have a, a bike that can do a whole lot, super versatile, uh, and it's in the form factor, and it's no longer than a regular city bike or trekking bike. Um, right now we have it set up in family mode, so you can see you can fit two bikes on the, two kids on the back, uh, in your parent riding in the front. It's easy to reconfigure this for cargo. It's easy to reconfigure it for camping and gravel. Uh, and it's a, it's a bike that's just uh, really easy to use in the city uh, in a lot of different ways. One of the, one of the really important things, that, as I mentioned, is that it's, it's no longer than a regular bike. And so that means it, it can go onto bus racks. It can go onto car racks. It can fit in a lot of places that, uh, that, that regular bikes can. But it has a secret ability, and that means it can fold down low and flat. So, saddle goes down. And it becomes low and flat. The additional cool feature, let me take these uh, seats off. And these are two Yep seats on here? Yep. So we consider the Yep Thule seats to be the best in the business. Okay. And so these come off easily. But the nice thing about this bike is you can see that this is now low, it's flat, and so not only can you get it onto normal car rack on the outside of your car, but this can go inside your car. So if you've got a Honda CRV, uh, Toyota Prius wagon, yeah, yeah. VW Terrain, this goes inside, and that means that you can take it to the beach, you can take it to the trailhead, um, and you can easily fit two or three into the back of a car. The other thing is that it also is designed to stand. So this is something then that you can park behind the door in your office. For me, this was a really important feature because I live in an apartment, eighth floor elevator. 
And so a regular, let's say a large sized utility bike doesn't fit in an elevator. And so the ability to have it just stand like this, you can see how useful this is for your garage. For sure. It takes up, you know, this is a tiny bit of space. It's about as tall as I am. The size of a person. <laughs> it's a bit narrower than I am as well, unfortunately. Um, but this is a super useful feature for all of the people living in, you know, urban centers, right? You yeah. live in a condo and an apartment, and this is a bike that fits fits in your lifestyle. For sure. So tons of carrying space on the back here. The one I picked out, they've got a couple of these at the booth and uh, I've got here has got the uh, side panniers and it looks like a, kind of like a bottom rack, I guess, to uh, either have uh, someone sit back here. You can install two Yep seats on here. So this is definitely a good kid carrier. You got this handle as an accessory. If you do need to uh, kind of grab the bike and, and pull it up. The seat also has a handle too, which is a nice little feature. And there's a whole range of baskets you can put on here. You can pop a basket on the top here. Uh, you know, kind of a foot stand for kids on the, on the bottom there. Even on the front, they have not the same traditional truss system that they use on their folding bikes. This one is definitely a bit beefier. Uh, gonna be able to support a nice heavy duty front rack so you can truly carry a lot of things on this bike. This is gonna be the ultimate urban utility vehicle. And I say vehicle because this thing is truly a car replacement. Uh, I mean, this thing can can literally do everything. This is one of the first bikes I've seen that, you, that I can say that for. I mean, just all the features that are on this bike is incredible. The frame design itself, it's just, you know, such a smartly engineered thing that you have all these bottle cage mounts, you have all this carrying space, and the bike in reality is really not all that big. Another thing that's really cool about uh, this particular bike is that Turn and Schwalbe have uh, a partnership going. So what that means is that Schwalbe will make stuff just for Turn. So you can come down here and see these uh, Schwalbe Super Moto X tires for the, uh, for the 20 inch size. So these are the, a standard 20 inch wheel, 406 millimeter. But this one is, let's get that tire width there. How wide is this? 2.4 inches wide. So that is a super fat tire. This is meant to handle a lot of weight because this bike is obviously gonna be holding a lot of weight, whether you're loading it with groceries, loading it with whatever you want, or carrying two kids on the back. I mean, these tires are gonna be built to take a beating on city streets. So really cool that Schwabi made these custom tires for them. I think they're gonna be, uh, you know, serve their purpose really well. This was a tire that I've seen on some, uh, some commuter bikes, uh, you know, with 27 and a half inch wheels. But uh, to see it on a bike like this, I mean, it just, it just makes a lot of sense for this bike. You also have this nice plastic fender here, nice and wide, gonna keep yourself clean. Uh, overall, I mean, the bike is just incredibly, amazingly engineered, and you have a nice chain cover on the side here as well. Got the GSD logo kind of printed on there. But uh, yeah, I think that's about everything on my end. Oh, let's not forget the uh, through axle up front for extra stiffness. Uh, this thing is truly gonna be uh, a real machine for sure.